Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see a 1T DRAM cell read-write operation. This figure shows the 1T DRAM cell consisting of one explicit storage capacitor C1 and one access transistor. C1 typically has the value of a range uh, 30 to 100 farad and the binary data are stored as the presence or absence of charge in this storage capacitor. Capacitor C2 represents the much larger parasitic uh, column capacitance associated with the word line. The charge uh, sharing between this larger capacitance and the very small storage capacitance plays a very important role in the operation of this 1T DRAM cell. First, let us see the write operation uh, 1 and 0. For the write 1 operation, the bit uh, line D is raised to logic 1 by the right circuitry while the selected word line is pulled high by the low address decoder. The access transistor M1 turns on allowing the storage capacitor C1 uh, to charge up to the logic high level. For the right 0 operation, the bit line D is pulled to logic 0 and the word line is pulled to high by the row address decoder. In this case, the storage capacitor C1 discharges through the access transistor resulting in order to in read the stored stored data bit. out of a 1T DRAM cell, we have to build a fairly elaborate read refresh circuit. The reason behind this is the fact that the data read operation on the 1T DRAM cell is by the necessity a destructive readout. This means that uh, the stored data must be destroyed or lost during the read operation. So to read, uh, the read operation starts with pre-charging uh, the column capacitance uh, that is uh, this column capacitance C2 to the uh, value equal to VDD by 2 then the word line is uh, pulled high in order to activate uh, the access transistor M1 charge sharing between this C1 and C2 occurs depending on the amount of stored charge on C1 the column voltage either increases or decreases slightly if the stored 1 bit uh, is 1 VDD the resulting voltage of the charge sharing will be more than VDD by 2 hence interpreted by a sense amplifier as logic 1 if the stored bit is 0 that is 0 volt the resulting voltage of the charge sharing will be less than VDD by 2 hence it interpreted by a sense amplifier as uh, logic 0 we should note that the charge sharing inevitably destroys uh, the stored charge on C1 and hence we uh, also have to perform refresh data every time we perform the data read operation. Thank you for watching. For more such videos, kindly subscribe to our channel. Thank you.